Hey guys, what's up? This is Harry Talks Movies and TV, and this is my breakdown for the Marvels trailer. So, The Marvels is an upcoming MCU movie that comes out in November, November 10th, I believe, and it stars Brie Larson, Imam Vellani, and Tiana Paris, Tiana Paris as um, Monica Rambeau, Brie Larson, and uh, Kamala Khan, respectively. And we got the first teaser trailer um, that came out yesterday, I believe. I was going to break it down yesterday, but I didn't get a chance. But um, yeah, so this is our first official look at the movie, and I watched the teaser. And I have to say, I really, really enjoyed it. I didn't quite... I, you know what? I think I might have even loved it, actually. I, I I had a big grin on my face the entire time I was watching it. I am someone who really enjoyed that first Captain Marvel movie. I don't think it's the best Marvel movie, but I do really, really enjoy it when I go back and watch it. So, I'm naturally very excited for this. I love Monica Rambeau. She was awesome in WandaVision. And I really, really like Miss Marvel. I like that show. It was really good. And Iman, Iman Vellani as Miss Marvel was amazing. So naturally, I've been very excited to see them team up in the sequel to Captain Marvel 2, which was well, in, in the sequel to Captain Marvel, which was originally titled Captain Marvel 2, but it's been changed to the Marvels because it's, you know, all three Marvel women. So yeah, um, the first trailer came out. It's directed by Nia DaCosta, and this trailer was set to the song Intergalactic by the Beatsy Boys, by the Beastie Boys, which I thought was an awesome choice because if you listen closely, it actually says inside of the song, don't tell me to smile. And that is what happened when the first, when Captain Marvel first came out. Everybody was saying Brie Larson doesn't have enough emotion and she doesn't smile enough and all that kind of stuff. So I wonder if that was intentional to include that song in this trailer. And if it was, I think that's awesome because you fuck those people who were saying that. Um, but yeah, I thought the trailer was really, really good. I had a massive grin on my face the entire time I was watching it. I thought it was really, really funny. I thought the music was awesome. It just, it got me hyped, you know, it really, really did. It got me excited to see the movie because I was excited before, but I didn't know what it was about. So I just, I was not um, particularly like hyped about it, but I am now, I certainly am now. So by the looks of the trailer, it seems that um, Monica, Monica Kamala and uh, Carol's powers are entangled and intertwined. And each time they use them, they swap places. So you, it's seen in the trailer, um, at first, when Monica goes out to get some readings from a jump point, that you know, jump points that have been seen in Guardians and Captain Marvel, like they have weird hexagonal shapes that like make up the universe and they travel through them, like sort of like wormholes. Um, she goes to get some readings from a um, jump point, and or Monica does, and as soon as she uses her powers to you know get the readings because she manipulates light energy, stuff like that, she switches with Kamala Khan and she becomes Kamala Khan. Now, the, I think the trailer is cut up a little bit, so it's not exact, like, the, I think the switches are sort of swapped around a bit, so I think in that moment, um, Monica goes to Earth instead of, um, or goes to wherever Kamala was, instead of, um, uh, that planet that she lands on, because why on Earth would, why on Earth would Kamala be, like, on a foreign planet with Kree soldiers, because that is the Kree soldiers that, um, attack Monica when she lands on that moon planet, um, so yeah, I think they have switched up the switched up the uh, changes a little bit in the um, trailer. They've done some editing and stuff, so it's not exact. So don't rely on the trailer when you see them switch, and so you know it'll be different in the movie, basically. Um, but yeah, I think that's a really good way to bring them all together because if you want to do a movie with these three, there needs to be like a reason as to why it would just be these three that are together, and making it so that their powers are intertwined and that they they have a, they're powers are intertwined and they're swapping each time they use them that's a pretty creative way to get these three women together so yeah i think that's a good idea i think we don't actually know too much about the plot of the movie at all except for that their powers keep switching um we know that zoe ashton is the main villain of the movie she is actually engaged to tom hiddleston i think she's married to him maybe i'm not sure but she's in a relationship with tom hiddleston so there's a quick fact for you but yeah i believe in this she's going to be playing um Ronan's daughter that's what is floating around on Twitter and on you know the interwebs that um she's been playing Ronan's daughter and you can Ronan being the you know accuser from the first Guardians movie um that can be seen when she's hold she's holding the same hammer that he uses and also if you look closely she is wearing Kamala's other bangle that she never has she there's supposed to be two of them but she only has one um 
Zoe Ashton's character seems to be wearing the other bangle, so we'll see how that uh, translates in the movie, and we'll see what that means. Um, this movie looks fun. There seems like a lot of cool action set pieces. One thing I will say is that for Nia DaCosta is actually a really good director. If you see her um, movie Candyman, her version of Candyman, the movie itself isn't great, but it is beautifully shot. And I thought that I think the trailer, while it looks good, it's not. It, the shots aren't as like powerful as I would assume they would what is what I would have hoped they would have been with Nia DaCosta being the director because she is pretty good with the camera if you've seen camera uh, Candyman so I'm a little bit disappointed but you know maybe some of some shots aren't done the movie's still seven months out so you know we, we have time but uh yeah it, 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 it doesn't look how I hoped it would visually but still, nonetheless, it, it, it's a trailer, you know, there's, it, it, it can improve, you know, we can, it's a trailer, we don't know the full gist of the movie yet, so that, that can change, um, we know Nick Fury is going to be a massive part of this movie, we don't know the timeline on when this takes place, if this is after Secret Invasion or before, because if you look, Nick Fury looks a lot younger in this than he does in the Secret Invasion trailer, because in the Secret Invasion trailer, you can see he's all greyed up, he's got a grey stubbly beard, he's got, you know, more, a little bit more wrinkles and in this he you know seems clean shaven you know um and just a little bit more youthful so i don't know what the goal is with that i don't know what the i don't know what that's about i don't know when this takes place i would assume based on that that it takes place before secret invasion but i don't know we'll have to we'll see when that gets confirmed um a shot on this trailer i did love though was when the three um women were like fighting zoe ashton's character and they're using this they are switching to their advantage i thought that was really really cool um, and it also looks like Captain Marvel is going to be using um, Ronan's daughter's hammer because she, I think she might get depowered in this movie because she is so powerful, she can pretty much eliminate any threat straight away. So they're probably going to have to depower her and that's why she'll be using um, Ronan's daughter's hammer, which you can see at the end when she's fighting her, she like slams her down with it. Um, I love all their costumes, it's actually I don't really like Miss Marvel's new costume that we see at the end of the trailer when they're all staying together. I like her old one a lot, a lot better, but um, nonetheless, I thought I think Monica and Carol's new suit look awesome. You can see Carol; we see a glimpse of Carol's new suit. It's actually based on Marvel's suit from the comics. It's just a very simple blue-red design with a big star on the chest. That's it. It's very, very simple, and it looks amazing. But her her normal suit, her base suit that we see in the Miss Marvel post credit scene, is also really good. So I like that as well. Um, I also really like Monica's white and black suit. It looks, I think it looks really, really good. And it's very, pretty comics accurate, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm very excited for this movie. I love all these characters a lot. And I'm very, very excited to see them team up. I'm excited to see their interactions. I'm excited to see why Monica is so mad at Carol. Because we know that Monica is mad at Carol based on WandaVision and stuff. So, I'm excited. I really, really am. This looks pretty good. But, you know, all the Marvel trailers have looked good recently. And we've been disappointed over the past few years so anyway that's my breakdown for the marvels trailer let me know your thoughts down in the comments are you excited are you you know do you think the trailer looks good let me know if you like this video please like and subscribe it would really help me out turn on post notifications so you don't miss when i upload go check out all my other videos thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next one bye